Hi everyone, welcome to day three of Stoactive. So, hopefully you've all managed to have a look at uh, the first video that we did on Monday and looked at how all of those exercises are supposed to look and some tips and tricks on making that movement as easy as possible and make sure the movement is perfect. Uh, yesterday we did an EMOM um, every minute on the minute, um, did some squats, did some press ups, um, some mountain climbers and some split squats. So if you want to go back and do that session again, it's on YouTube. You can go and visit the Stowe YouTube channel and hit that up as well. Today we're doing something slightly different. So we're going to do an AMRAP. Okay. This stands for as many rounds as possible. So timer is going to be set at 15 minutes. So it's just 15 minutes today. You are going to do as many rounds of the exercises that should have just come up on the whiteboard here. And we're going to try and go through as many repetitions of those as possible. So as you can see, squat, 10 reps, walkout, 10 reps, reverse lunge, 10 reps, toe touches, 10 reps, clean and press, 25 reps, okay? The clean and press is more of a cardio segment, just to get your heart rate going and keep us working at a nice, um, good level, okay? I want you to work as hard as you can, okay? I want you to also record exactly how many rounds of this that you do. And hopefully by half term, if we do this exercise uh, set again, which we'll, we'll aim to do, I'll make sure we do it, we can hopefully see a really good progression moving forward. Okay, so 15 minutes on the timer. On the beat, let's go. So, squats first. So, you're gonna do them as quickly or as slowly as you can. Okay, remember, we're working for 15 minutes. So, straight into your walkouts, then into your reverse lunge, then into your toe touch, and then clean and press, okay? So walk out, if you remember, it's hands on the floor, walk it out into a press up position and back. So we're gonna do 10 of these. If you're already halfway through, that's fine. If you remember what the exercises are, just keep cracking on and get them done. We're gonna work for a total of 15 minutes. So it's 10 repetitions of each exercise. And then 25 clean and press just to get your heart rate going, okay? Make sure you pace yourself because once we start getting into it, it's going to start getting hard. If for the walkouts you need to drop down to your knees, that's absolutely fine as well. Okay, this is really shoulder heavy, this exercise, but it's going to make sure that we build really good, strong, resilient shoulders. Okay, reverse lunges. Make sure we're stepping back, back knee comes down to the floor. So it's 10 in total, so it's five on each side. Big step back, make sure our back knee's coming down as close to or touching the floor as possible. Obviously, try not to bang your knee into the floor because that's painful. Cool, then we're into our toe touches. So, press up position, hips up, and touch.
10 in total. And then straight into our clean and press. So if you remember, our feet are shoulders apart, up and read. So 25 of them, straight back into our squats. Then into our walkout, reverse lunge, toe touch, clean and press, and just keep going, okay? So we're working for 15 minutes, try and get as many rounds as you can in. Don't focus too much on the importance of speed though. Okay, I want every repetition to be perfect rather than just doing a movement half-heartedly just to get it done quickly. So each rep's got to be done quick, uh, perfect. Good, really engage through your abs here. Stay nice and tight, and that will really help control that movement. One more, I think. Perfect. Well done. Just keep working through, keep working at your own pace. Keep doing every movement perfectly. And then into our clean and press. Keep your back nice and straight. Hands just touch your toe or touch in front of your toes before we reach up to the sky. One, nice. Okay, and then just straight back in, exactly the same again. You're gonna start to get a little bit more tired, so. I want to just rest in between sets. But do not compromise the movement. Straight into our walkouts. I'm gonna love these by the end of it, eh? Remember, really good for our hip mobility, really good for our shoulder stability and strength. So these are great exercises just to work on. Try and get as many reps under your belt as possible. Right, so we're halfway there. Seven and a half minutes to go. Easy, right? 
Easy. Remember, we're not trying to set the world on fire here. We're just trying to make sure we get through the movements. We're working for 15 minutes. And hopefully we're releasing some endorphins and we're feeling a little bit better. So by tomorrow, when you're sitting in front of that computer screen again, you'll feel like you've, uh, you've done something. Like I said, physical activity, absolutely incredible for mental health, health and well-being, and also just mental agility as well. So if we're learning, if we're reading, if we're, if we're working at a computer all day, it's just so good to just one switch off and just get something done. Also releasing a shared load of positive hormones into our bloodstream as well. Right. We are getting there. Straight into our clean and press. So a little cardio segment, so just trying to get moving. Get your heart rate up. As you can hear my breathing starting to get a little bit more laboured. Just means I'm pumping oxygen around my bloodstream, trying to oxygenate my muscles and keep me going for the next. Well, it must be five minutes now. Okay, so it's just five minutes to go. Just keep working. Keep trying to bang out as many reps as you can. If you need to rest, absolutely fine. Grab a little drink. Five minutes left. Like I said, if you need to rest between them, if you need to grab a drink, that's absolutely fine. You need to just take a moment to think, right, how am I going to get this done? It's absolutely fine. Just take a moment. And then once you've composed yourself, crack on again. Nice. Straight into our walkouts. Good, really works through your hip flexors, which is perfect. Just show you a few from the side. So I'm dropping right down before I move out. And that flexion of the hip, which is really good. Because we very rarely drop into a position like that. Okay, I've got two more to go. So make sure you're dropping down. Don't be afraid to bend your legs. Reverse lunges from the side as well. Taking a big step back. I'm creating space between my feet and that allows my hips to drop down into that position. And also it means I can keep my shoulders square and my head and my, my, head and my chest up. What that means is I'm just less likely to crumple. I take a really short step. I, I hinge here and I lose a lot of stability. So I'm stepping back, creating that space, opening up through my hips, keeping my shoulders square and my chest up. Okay, we're into toe touches. Again, I'll go from the side for you. So, 
feet come up. Otherwise my arms won't reach my toes. And straight into our clean and press. So, bend, touch, reach, touch, reach, touch, reach. Well done. We're so almost there. Probably got a minute and a half to go. That's it, minute and a half. Okay, you can start speeding things up now. Trying to make sure, let's try and get through another, another set, another load of sets. Okay, just try and bang out as many as you can. One minute left, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Try and get through whatever stage you're on. Try and keep going. Get through wherever you need to get through in the last 40 seconds. About 20 seconds. Done. Well done, everyone. Make a note of how many rounds you did. Stick it in the diary or on your phone or something. And in half term, or just before we get to half term, we'll have another go at this. And hopefully, you'll see that you've improved. Um, and we're doing a few more. Okay? Okay. Shake our arms off. Shake our legs off. Wednesday done, which is good. Hopefully we're not feeling too sore after Monday and Tuesday session. Okay, stay limber, stay focused, keep going. This will be, will be over in, in no time, okay? But just stay focused, keep control of everything. Focus on the things you can. And uh, I'll see you here for Stow Active every day, Monday to Friday.